Hey folks, how are you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. We're uh, leaving. Bit chilly as it's been the past few mornings, but the sun's gonna come out apparently and warm us up. Gonna be a good time. Had a good long emotional chat with Sanjay last night as you do when you've had a few <laughs> come on you're not waking up you wait um, yeah been good it was really hot yesterday really hot spoke to my cousin in America I was showing him round what this place is like I was quite impressed. Hold on over for Sanji. You can see how warm it's been. Look at the state of grass. Looks more like corn. <laughs> corn, what going on about? Bloody. I know what I mean. Wheat! Lots of wheat! It's 20 past 10. Um, we didn't have to leave the hotel till 11. But it takes rough. We're just chilling out. Chilled out riding here and we'll chill out riding home. Um, it takes about an hour and a half. We'll have a couple of stops on the way. I thought that was a dead squirrel. So yeah, should be on about 12. Oh, why couldn't the sun have been out? It's not so bad when you're walking, but you riding into it at 30 miles an hour, it's very chilly. Lawrence House Sports Road, I thought that was a school. That's pretty wide this road if you think about it. Oh, sudden. You better hurry up and come out. Oh, have I passed this spit? Oh, there it is. There's the spit fire again, folks. Oh, there's a lot of geese on there. Canadian geese. As I said in one of my earlier videos, um, it's what me and Alan should have been doing two years ago, but unfortunately for him, his uh, scooter got stolen. We ended up coming in my car anyways, because we'd already booked the breakaway. But I imagined when I was going through the process of picking what 125 I wanted I'd already spoke to him and said like when I get a bike I'll have to come here It's just brilliant for relaxing If you want a nice chilled relaxed holiday without all the noise and in my own personal opinion cheesiness of Blackpool Don't get me wrong I love Blackpool I just think it's too busy for my liking St. Anne's is more relaxed um, than get ahead there folks or here it's been a really really good time thank you so much Sanjay and as I was saying earlier um, I imagined what it'd be like riding here and riding home and now I'm doing it. I mean, don't get me wrong, we've been to Blackpool many times and we have to ride this way and back the other way because we're only on learner licenses, but um, well, I've got a full driving license. Don't get me started on that subject. Yeah, so we've done this route many times. It's a bonnet house, isn't it? It's a bit on grand designs. 
But in my head, when I was thinking about it and imagining it, it'd be nice and bright and sunny and warm on our way home. I think it's only about 10 degrees Celsius. What is that? Some kind of little furry animal. It looked like a hedgehog, bless it. But yeah, it was really, really hot yesterday. Unbelievably hot. And on Sanjay's phone, it was saying like it was 18 degrees and like, hell no. I don't know what they're using to measure the temperature, but it certainly wasn't where we were sat yesterday. Oh, a little bit of sunshine, yes! The Lord Mother Nature's heard my prayers. <laughs> so yeah, see that big hill over there? The camera won't pick it up properly. I can see the tower on top of Winter Hill. 33, or is it 35? Yeah, 35 miles from the hotel. Right there. See the hump? That's Rivington, folks. It's at times like this I, was, I wish I was behind a double decker bus because you get all the heat off the engine don't you? You can't see it as much further forward obviously but it keeps your bloody warm. <laughs> I don't know what it is with this camera, I'll just give it a wide patch load, lens is dirty you know. Just makes things look really far away. I mean, yeah, 30 odd miles is a distance, but I can just make out the faint line of the tower, transmission tower that is. Home sweet home, bring home sweet chariot. <laughs> Have they done with the windmill now? It is actually brightening up. And go. And it's actually called St. Anne's. I've always called it Livum St. Anne's, but this area is Livum. The town centre's right down there, if you can see it. Lytham Town Centre. I think most people call it Lytham St. Anne's. Seriously! Yeah, sent in. I'm sure that were a nurse then. And you've got a bright light out. That's about the fourth time I've had a nurse literally pull out on me. Very cloudy over Rington. Very clever that, yeah you won't look. <sighs> was a nurse. Crazy, the sun just starts burning all clouds away. Happy days! I hope I'll be morning by the time we've got to Rivers and go, but it's too hot, man! <laughs> Anyways, folks, I'm gonna wait and do it. 
I will catch back up with you. I think this is part three um, when we're closer to home. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other. And as per usual, I'll catch you in the next one. I know I've ballsed it all up. It's one of them. <laughs> Bye, Nick.